I saw the Mario movie in theaters, and it was awesome. So I want to talk about it. By the way, this will include some spoilers, so you've been warned. Let's talk about the story. I'm just gonna read what's on Google. With the help from Princess Peach, Mario gets ready to square off against the all-powerful Bowser to stop his plans from conquering the world. But yeah, basically, Bowser wants to marry Peach and in turn take over the Mushroom Kingdom. Meanwhile, Mario and Luigi quit the job to follow their dreams to become plumbers. One day, they get lost in the sewers trying to save the city, but get sucked into a magic pipe, which transports them to the Mushroom Kingdom. Luigi gets kid swiped by Bowser and Mario needs to save him with the help of our lovable heroes. Toad! He's funny, he's cute, and he'll protect the princess at any cost. He's what I wanted from a Toad. I also really like the actor who played him, he's really funny. Next up, Peach. She's a princess of the Mushroom Kingdom, a natural leader who is fighting the battle against Bowser. And Seth Rogen, who for some reason is just about Donkey Kong, which I know no clue why. He's a big monkey with big daddy issues and does not like Mario. All in all, I think the movie was very well paced, and there's this kind of zappy energy to it, which I like a lot. There are some characters I don't think get enough screen time, like Luigi, Seth Rogen, and a bunch of side characters. Like, King Boo barely got anything, and he's the boy. Besides those examples, I feel like they gave everyone enough screen time. I really like Mario in a struggle to find out who he really is. Although I don't like coming of age stories, I think they did him really well. Also, Chris Pratt did amazing as Mario, and I'm so sorry I thought otherwise. The trailers did do dirty. But, I need to talk about the music and animation. The music, oh my gosh, the music. Every remix song they used was an absolute banger. I was literally freaking out over every song. All the little references in the songs gave me sweet gamer dopamine. It was composed by Brian Tyler, and I'm very impressed with what he composed. Now, they did add some real life songs, which I don't hate. Sometimes I like them, but sometimes I want to hear more sweet, sweet remixes. A moment that stood out to me the most was when the crew just arrived at the Kongs. And instead of playing some awesome Donkey Kong songs, they just took the easy way out and played Take On Me. Like, I don't hate it. I had fun watching cool cards with cool music, but the fact that I missed out on some bops from the Donkey Kong series kind of hurts, not gonna lie. But they did make up for it by playing the DK rap, which I'm gonna freak out over. Also, the song Peaches is the best song in history, and you cannot change my mind. Now, the animation. I hope this year of animation is known for how unique these movies look. We got Puss in Boots, Mario Movie, Spider-Verse 2, that one Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, which looks pretty cool. I have never watched a Ninja Turtle movie in my life. I don't know who told Illumination to go this hard, but I am not complaining. It's like they turned up the 4K and added so much detail. Maybe too much detail. By the time I'm recording and writing this, I don't know what people think of the movie. I don't want to watch any reviews to take my view yet. But I hope we can all agree that the Mario movie's animation is amazing. Sadly, I do have one problem with the movie. Not enough references. Where's Sunshine? Where's the Super Mario Bros on the DS? Why is Yoshi barely seen? Where's Daisy? Have you heard of Rosalina? Starbits? Never heard of Where's Cat Bowser and Furry Jack Black? Is golf a thing? What about tennis? Have you heard of Mario Party? What about Mario Pinball? Sonic and Mario had a game. What about Luigi's Mansion? In conclusion, I love this movie so much. With all the little hidden Easter eggs and details, making it one of the most fun times I've had watching a movie. Let's hope it's a good sign that Illumination is going on the right track. 7.8 out of 10, love this movie a lot. We're done, yes. 25 minutes, let's go. Oh, man, that took a while.